up soon enough. So, hi friends, it's me back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. Well, I'm not on the car dashboard today because I am doing a double take. That's right. This is the first Periscope that I'm filming. I'm also doing the Daily Dash, so you'll be able to see that as well. But I wanted to see if you all were interested in having live news. So here we go. If you're just joining for the first time, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life in three minutes or less, including news, including what's going on here with little me in Nashville, Tennessee. So let me get right to it. So what you need to know around the water cooler today. First of all, uh, a rare form of tuberculosis has been discovered. Someone with the disease has traveled from India, supposedly visited a few states in uh, the United States, and is now at uh, a hospital in Maryland in isolation. So hopefully that will be contained. It's said to be resistant to traditional antibiotics, so we'll see what happens with that. Also, Oscar Pistorius, who you know has was sentenced uh, to death, Sorry, he was sentenced to prison because of uh, a, sorry, I'm looking at little things right now. He was sentenced to five years because of uh, killing his girlfriend, or supposedly. He is now set to be released within 10 months of that sentence. So that's got everyone up in arms a little bit as well. And what else is going on around the world? So we've got the NBA Finals going on right now. Uh, I told you about the Triple Crown winner, which is still a big deal. And this is something that I wanted to share. This is McFarland USA. Uh, it's a Disney Pictures film. We just got it on Blu-ray and watched it for the first time last night. We were amazed. First of all, it's something that I feel like is a, not only a great story, but gave us a peek into a culture that we otherwise may not have been able to see, especially for my kids. So great story. I love good sports movies as an athlete. I just love being able to hear that kind of underdog story. But more than that, it gave us a peek inside a culture, inside a town, inside of an era that, again, we wouldn't normally be able to experience, especially for my kids that are ages 9 and 10. So McFarland USA, highly recommend it. Make sure you check that out on DVD or Blu-ray. What else is going on today? Well, it's a hot day here in Nashville. The kids are at camp. I said my daughter's at sewing camp, son's at football camp, and I'm going to be able to experience a marketing seminar with HubSpot. They're in Nashville for the first time, so I'm taking advantage of that to see if I can get my blog, SammyCone.com, back up and running to where it was before the beginning of the month when my blog broke down a little bit. So hopefully we'll be able to get that fixed up. What else is going on? You can see I'm on campus here in Lipscomb. Even though there are not a lot of students here right now, it's summertime, but we'll be back in session soon. So. Here we go. If you have anything you want to share, would love to hear what you're up to today. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. Make sure you make it great. I'm going to end on here. Bye.